AI is everywhere. It's in the news, you're hearing your friends talk about it, and I'm sure you've probably taken a look at ChatGPT. But how do you really leverage ChatGPT in your business? The number one thing I use ChatGPT for is idea generation. So I'll type in things like, give me 10 ideas on this topic so that I can write a blog or do Facebook posts. So it's really great just with coming up with ideas that maybe you wouldn't have thought of. I've even said, hey, listen, I've got to name a coffee company. Uh, here's kind of what they're about. Give me some ideas of what I could call it. Then I love to use it to just answer statistical questions like, how many people live in Lancaster County? I could go to Google and type that in, but I might have to sort through a lot of information where ChatGPT is just gonna give me the answer. I've also used it to find zip codes. So another way to kind of look at statistical information, I had to come up with a list of all the zip codes in a state, so I just went to ChatGPT and asked them and just created that full list for me versus doing a Google search. You can also use it just to answer any kind of specific questions or content that you're looking for. And finally, I also use it for alternatives to phrases. So, you know, you're writing something and you're like, ah, oh, this just doesn't sound right. What's another way to say that? I'll just type in that phrase in ChatGPT and ask it, and then it'll rephrase it, get my brain thinking a little differently, and then I'm just on my way. My number two way that I use it, so idea generation, then I use it for content creation. So you can use it literally to write a blog or you can use it to write Facebook posts. So think of it as like shortcutting the process a little bit. I've also used it to write product reviews. So product reviews tend to get a little stagnant. How do you say the same thing? You can ask ChatGPT to do that and give you some more insight on that. You can use it to draft email copies. So let's say you're working on an email and it's just not come together well. You could pop that in ChatGPT and ask it to write the email about this topic. I've also used it to write responses to negative Google reviews. You know how you want that response to sound good and not just be like, oh, I'm sorry you're unhappy, uh, give us a call. We can add a little more to it and ChatGPT is a great way to do that. You can use it for internal communication, maybe it's a memo to your staff or newsletters, or you can just use it to write something that's fun. I've used it to write poems, little jokes. I don't know that my wife overly appreciates my ChatGPT poems, but at least I put some effort into it. Number three, I use it for rewriting or some kind of alternative options. I've used this for job descriptions. So sometimes you get stuck writing those job descriptions. You can go out on Indeed and look at a job description that you really like, but it's really not your own. And normally what you would do is you would just manually do that. Now you can just take that job description, pop it into ChatGPT and say, can you rewrite this for me? Give me some other options. You can also use it for proofreading. So if you wrote something, you can pop it in there and say, please proofread this article or this email or this copy. So as amazing as ChatGPT is, and you might think, gosh, I'm never gonna have to write anything anymore. Uh, definitely writers at the beginning were like, oh my gosh, this is gonna replace my job. So this is absolutely not a replacement for people. In fact, you really have to make sure that you're putting that personal touch in your writing that sometimes AI content can really leave out. So to help you with ChatGPT, we've put together an AI prompt list to really start to give you some ideas of some types of things that you can ask it. It's free, so go ahead and download it. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.